let's be honest, emotes are pretty dope. And when you do something incredible or exciting in your stream and your community wants to celebrate with you and they spam all of those emotes, it makes them feel like they're part of something larger, which is why I'm gonna show you how to set up and use the emote wall widget to make your stream a little more visually fun for your community. Let's go. Hey, it's me, it's Wild coming at you to help you with everything Streamlabs OBS. And like we said in this video right here, I'm gonna show you how to use the emote wall widget. So by the end of this video, you can start using it right away. So let's go. To add an emote wall, it's very simple. First go to streamlabs.com, log in and click on all widgets from the features section. To add the emote wall to your live stream, you will need to copy the widget URL to your clipboard. Now open Streamlabs OBS and add a browser source in the scene you'd like the emote wall to appear. When the settings for the browser source appear, you can paste the widget URL and click done. When you add the emote wall to your stream, remember to play around with the dimensions and see what you're broadcasting out. 720p, 1080p, or maybe you wanna crop it to a certain dimension because you only want it to display in a certain part of your stream. This is where you get to customize it, so play around with it. The emote wall widget also comes with a couple of settings that you can adjust. Emote duration controls how long an emote will appear on screen. Emote scale controls how large the image of the emote will appear. Combo required, an emote will spawn each time it is seen in chat. Ignore duplicates. Duplicate emotes per chat message will be ignored. Emote walls are pretty fun, and if you have an exciting and hyped up stream, it's fun for your community to jump in and share the hype with you and visually show it on stream. So why not dive in and give it a shot? Now, if you need any more help using Streamlabs OBS or any of the awesome features, got you covered. I'm gonna put a video over here to the side that shows you everything you need to know about using Streamlabs OBS if you plan on using a green screen. Plus, you get to see my handsome face. My name is Wild for Games, helping you be bigger and better with Streamlabs. And if you need any more help, hey, don't be afraid to reach out to us because we're here to help. Until next time, stay beautiful, stay creative, keep streaming, and of course, peace.